rising. Mm, that's not good. We might have to raise government more. Tis a shame. Tis a shame. Lower health care a bit. Raise government a bit. Because, yeah, government, government's kind of important when it comes to corruption. We'll lower propaganda just a tad. I like to, I, I want to keep the people happy. We'll get our approval and stability up higher, and then we can worry about bringing it down. So with that in mind, let's take a look. I could have raised my tax more. I didn't. I was trying to avoid it, but it looks like I should. Let's bring it up about, eh, I don't know. There we go. That should be a, a solid number. It's going to hurt our approval rating a bit more, but honestly, I don't care. It'll get back up there. I just don't like how high that corruption is. It's not taking a lot of money out of our system as far as it goes, but it's still way too high, and it's growing way too fast for my liking. So we're going to up that way more. In the long run, that's a lot of money that we're throwing away, so we really need to get out of debt. Honestly, the worst part of Brazil in this case is the debt. It's just so high. So, hmm, we could bring down propaganda. I don't think I want to do that anymore. We could bring down education a bit, but again, that's something else I don't really want to do. We could bring down tourism. There's a lot of coulds and what ifs. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do the global tax mod, bump it up, eh, 5%, and let's see what that does to our economy. Give it a second to refresh, as per usual. Bam, look at that. We're making a positive balance now. So it's only a 5.1% increase. That shouldn't affect too many things. Yeah, Brazil seems to have a lot of low taxes anyway, except for meat. But tobacco and everything else is pretty low. Uh, yeah, only 11% on energy. That should be fine. So yeah, this is probably the way I would do Brazil. You know, not too much work in there, not too, uh, not too in-depth. But I do want tourism to increase, so I'm going to keep tourism maxed out. I feel like that'll mean a lot later on down the road. Um, I could increase foreign aid to try to get some sort of, uh, you know, basically foreign aid from another country. Um, the only problem with that is Brazil is very, very rich uh, early on, so there's not many people who are actually going to go along with that, who are actually going to give Brazil that money that they need. The United States would be one. China is definitely out of the picture. What about Japan? Japan does have a bigger economy, but I still don't know. Uh, Russia is too small. Hmm. <laughs> well, the UK is big enough, but they're just not making enough money right now. Germany is big enough, just not making enough. Uh, France, yeah, that's about it. Really, those seems. Oh, well, maybe even Italy. Italy has a chance. But see, still the problem is it's too early to give a full kind of report on that because you don't know. You know, it really depends on if these countries manage to dig themselves out of debt, which you can only hope for. But more often than not, by around 2040 in the game, they do do that. So really, Brazil is not that hard to play as. They're a little bit more difficult than some of the countries I've done in the past. Uh, say, Finland, for example. You know, they're Finland's pretty much set and ready to go compared to most, but... I don't know. My main gist is I am making money, even if it is only a little bit of money. My approval rating is rising. Uh, stability is rising a little bit, and finally corruption is going down. So, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good, and I feel pretty confident with this setup. This is how I would, if I was playing full-on with Brazil, this is definitely how I would do it. You know, play it safe. You could raise your global... Uh, tax mod more to pay off that debt faster, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's raise it to about 7%. I'm not going to get it any higher than that. And we'll give it a second to refresh, and we should be making some serious dough by then. That's right. Look at all that money we're spending in education. Ugh. People don't need to be intelligent. We just need money. Just kidding. It's actually very important. <laughs> um, so the global tax mod, there we go. We can see that we're actually making uh, about twice as much as we were making before, and we're paying off that debt. So, yeah, this is pretty much the, the route I would go. If you get out of debt, you make more money in general, obviously. So it's just something that you should do uh, to make that extra. In this case, it would be 23 to almost $24 billion we would be making in income if we weren't in debt. So it's not a bad idea to try paying that off or to increase resource production. Or honestly, I would make sure that the global tax mod is at zero because that ensures a more, a more perfect growth, um, long-term growth anyway. 
that to me that's what this game is all about it's all about long-term growth and whatnot so you know we might even lower taxes a bit maybe maybe three percent bring it back down to 69.9 to make sure that our stability doesn't lower too much because you know that's what we don't want to happen but anyway this has been commissar bro i hope this has been a little helpful to you and uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment and uh yeah we'll go from there anyway i'll see you later comrades